One question Brandy and I get asked a lot is, where are the new homes in Palm Springs being built? What do they look like? How much do they cost? Today, we are going to take you on a tour of six new home developments starting in Palm Springs, then going to Palm Desert, La Quinta, Indio, and Coachella. Plus, along the way, we'll give you some tips on how to get the best deal on a new construction home. Let's get started. Our first stop is in Palm Springs. It's a new development called View. And it's located just east of downtown Palm Springs on Takwitz Canyon Way and Hermosa Drive. This is another development from local builder GHA, and it will include 46 detached homes with four different floor plans. And some of these homes will have two and a half baths, some will have three and a half baths, and all will have their own pools and great rooms. The square footage will range from 1,886 square feet to just over 2,300 square feet. And these are two, three, and four bedroom homes. And as of this recording in December of 2021, the pricing on these homes hasn't been released. These homes will have views of the San Jacinto Mountains and all are within walking distance of downtown Palm Springs. The View is a playful spin-off of GHA's popular Vibe development, which is located nearby. This development will be completed in 2022. And now we're here at Asina in Palm Springs. It's a relatively new development in Palm Springs, just five to 10 years old. It's got a golf course and it's had several builders, but this current phase is being built by Toll Brothers right behind us. Toll Brothers at Asina offers four luxury single-story home designs ranging from 2,500 square feet to 2,700 square feet. These homes range from two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, and they all have an attached two-car garage and include a pool and spa. Prices on the Sereno model start at $1,089,995. And the Spirit model is the most expensive, starting at $1,247,947. The homes have contemporary, international, and mid-century exteriors. All of the floor plans are open concept with expansive outdoor living spaces. Right now we are in Palm Desert. We are at University Park. And this is a large area that's close to our two college campuses that are out here in Palm Desert, not counting College of the Desert. And this is a large area with a number of different developers. This Pacific project is being built by Woodbridge Pacific Group. They're the first builder, and there are a number of other builders that'll be coming on here shortly. There are three neighborhoods being built here at University Park. The Verb neighborhood has three two-story models ranging from 1,871 square feet with two bedrooms and two and a half baths up to models that will be 2,490 square feet with five bedrooms and four and a half baths. And the largest model has one primary bedroom upstairs and one downstairs. The Nova neighborhood has four different two-story floor plans ranging from 1,880 square feet with three bedrooms and two and a half baths up to 2,304 square feet with four bedrooms and two and a half baths. And the Esprit neighborhood has four floor plans ranging from 1,992 square feet, a single story, three bedroom, two bath plan, all the way up to a two-story, 2,952 square foot model with up to five bedrooms and two and a half baths. The East Ferry is the only neighborhood with a single story floor plan. The University Park community has a bark park, playgrounds, and a basketball court. And the clubhouse will be named The Grove and it will have a fitness center, ballroom, and gourmet kitchen. And outside the Grove will be swimming pools, pickleball courts, an event lawn, and even a stage area. And Lennar Homes has recently acquired 196 lots here in University Park. And when completed, University Park will have 1,265 dwelling units. And all of the neighborhoods will have access to parks and trails throughout University Park. And then don't forget, other builders will be adding uh, new neighborhoods here in the University Park development. In fact, right across the street is the construction trailer. They're gonna start building right here to our south very soon, and hopefully these models will be available in 2022. As of this recording, there are no models that we can take you through and show you, but they're under construction for WPG homes, and then the new homes across the street will be available next year too, so keep watching for future videos on new construction here in the Palm Springs area. And right now we're surrounded by dirt, so they're going to be building like crazy out here, and I was actually surprised to find out that they have a waiting list already for these homes that aren't even built yet. They can't even see models right now, and they well, already have people on their wait list. It's a great location because it's close to Interstate 10, it's close to shopping. Basically, all the amenities are just within a few miles of this location. Even across the interstate is where the new Coachella Valley Stadium is being built. So this is going to be a hotbed for activity here over the next couple of years. Yep, and we're super excited that they are building right here because it's a great spot. 
Now let's head over to Trilogy at the Polo Club in Indio. Just a reminder that we're touring these homes during COVID times and the builder, Shea Holmes, has asked us to wear masks during the tour. Let's take a look at the Liberty model, which is the largest model in the Freedom 2 collection. The Liberty is 2,367 square feet with three bedrooms and three baths. This home also has a two and a half car garage with the half space usually used as the golf cart garage. This home has high ceilings and tile flooring. It's a nice open floor plan and off the kitchen and living area is a really nice outdoor space. This outside living area has a covered patio and some models have an extended patio as an option. This home has a nice pool and jacuzzi. And the base price on this model is about 565,000. Now that's without all of the upgrades. Remember, when you are purchasing a new home, the builder's model usually has lots of upgrades. So be certain you know when it's an upgrade and what the base model version looks like. Outside this home are other models, including the Freedom 1 collections and the Freedom 2 collections. You'll probably notice that Trilogy at the Polo Club is a 55 plus community. However, 20% of the homes here are available for all ages, not just 55 plus. Trilogy at the Polo Club has an impressive clubhouse. While membership at the Polo Club is not mandatory, most residents do take advantage of it and all it has to offer. These include a restaurant, resort pool, fitness studio and tennis, bocce ball and pickleball courts. The social membership is the premier class of membership and is available to residents of Trilogy at the Polo Club. Basic HOA dues are $180 a month. Social membership is an additional $170 a month with a $6,875 initiation fee. There are 17 pod parks and lots of walking trails within this community. One question we get asked a lot is, can I get a better deal going directly to the home developer? People often think they'll get a better deal by going direct without a realtor representing them in the process of buying a new construction home. Yes, and this is simply not true. The advantage to you as a buyer is you'll have a professional on your side who knows the ins and outs of a real estate deal and new home sales. Realtors have toured the developments and they understand the marketplace and they also know the reputation of the builders. This will save you time and money. Brandy and I are here at Stone Creek, which is La Quinta and it's south of PJA West. It's out here a ways from Highway 111 at least and it has beautiful mountain views behind us. There's really uh, a lot of construction and a lot of activity going on here, right Brandy? Correct. This is a beautiful community and they're building 70 homes here, single and two-story homes in the luxury area. Toll Brothers has five models at Stone Creek Ranch. They are the Dahlia, which has 2,879 square feet with three bedrooms and two baths. It's a single family home with 10 foot ceilings. The Lorea, another single story home with 3,156 square feet and three bedrooms and three and a half baths with a three car garage. The Jubilee is a 3,908 square foot home with four bedrooms, four and a half baths and a three car garage. The Tacoma is a 3,024 square foot home with three bedrooms and three and a half baths and three car garage. And the Tacoma Elite version, which is the same 3,024 square feet, but with five bedrooms and four and a half baths, and it's a two-story home. All of the floor plans are open concept with expansive outdoor living spaces. We're in a little park area here, and uh, it's kind of the center of the development. It's got a lot of water features in here, and you can see the uh, Santa Rosa Mountains, and it's really uh, spectacular views. It's a really great area, and you're surrounded by mountains here, and it's really quiet too, which is one of the reasons why I love this area. It's really tucked up against the mountains, so it's really beautiful. Some of the homes here are actually gonna be built for multi-generational families, so if you have an in-law or an elderly uh, parent that you want to uh, have in the home with you, they're actually being built just for that situation. Right, a lot of people are living with mom-in-laws, dad-in-laws, lots of big families in the homes these days. So they're building homes to be a lot bigger, to house more people. Another thing to keep in mind is to keep in touch with the builder about timelines, possible price increases, supply chain problems, and completion time. Your realtor will help you find out the policies for delays and make sure these policies are clearly spelled out in the contract. During the construction process, we suggest you check on the construction often and do walkthroughs as often as possible, not just during the builder sign-off dates. So now let's head to Coachella. We'll take a look at the Pulte Homes Sevilla community. Sevilla has three floor plans available. This model, the Visionary, is the largest. This model can have five or six bedrooms and three or four baths. It's a very open floor plan. A nice open concept with the living area right off the kitchen. This model has a bedroom downstairs. 
Pricing starts in the 400s and it's a great starter home. It would also be a good home for the first time home buyer. It has four bedrooms upstairs and the bedroom downstairs and also a den, which could be another room. It would be a good home for a multi-generational family. Multi-generational homes are popular right now, so for example, the older generation could be downstairs. This model has great views of the mountains off to the west. And the backyard area is nice as well. And it's got a nice covered patio. And the lot is a good size with plenty of room for a swimming pool if you want one. Lot sizes range from 6,509 square feet all the way up to 9,084 square feet. It's a really beautiful home, nice and bright with whites and grays. So here at Sevilla, the three models are the Gateway, which is the single story model. Then the next model is the Pathmaker, which has four to six bedrooms and a loft on the second level. And of course, the model we just toured, the Visionary, which is the largest. And one real bonus at Sevilla is no HOA dues. And that's very rare for new construction developments these days. New construction is an option you should consider when thinking about moving to the Palm Springs area. Keep watching for more videos where we will show you more about new home developments and tour the models being built. And new home and developments here in the Coachella Valley are being built in all price ranges and all styles. Some are in gated communities and some are not, and some are located in golf communities and others are not. There is really a large variety of new homes to choose from. If you have any questions about this video or any of the new home developments, please get in touch with me. If you'd like to get in touch with me as soon as possible, just click the Contact Neil button. If you're thinking of moving to the Palm Springs area, buying or selling a home here, let me know. I want to make the process as smooth as possible for you. Now, stay tuned for my next video about the things I wished I'd known before moving to Palm Springs.